to God, welcome beloved brethren from all over the nations to the Rhapsody of Realities. The Righteousness of Jesus Christ is the title of the article we bring you on the 27th of January by our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. You don't want to miss this at all. Our theme scripture is taken from Romans chapter 5 verse 17 and Paul writes, For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more, they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! I love what Paul said in Philippians chapter 3 verses 8 to 9, referring to the supremacy and sublimity of the righteousness which is by faith in Jesus Christ. He said that I may win Christ and be found in Him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. When you confess the Lordship of Jesus over your life, His righteousness was imparted to you. The righteousness of Christ is perfect righteousness. It cannot be improved upon as you cannot improve on perfect. Nothing you do today will make you more righteous or less righteous before God. When God looks at you, He sees the righteousness of Christ. Hallelujah! Jesus was righteous before God and He was the only one who qualified to be our substitute. Being the only sinless one and He gave you His qualification of righteousness. God accepted the qualification of Jesus in your behalf. Thus, you're no longer living by your own righteousness, you're living by the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 5 verse 1 says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. To be justified means you're acquitted by your faith in Christ Jesus. You're declared righteous as though you never sinned. Now you have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Wow, praise God. Sadly, there are Christians who are still struggling to be righteous, but we could not attain righteousness by ourselves. That's why He gave us His own righteousness. You're as righteous as Jesus is righteous because He substituted His righteousness for your sin nature when you confess His Lordship over your life. What an amazing reality! Praise God! Hallelujah! Glory be to God! That is one of the greatest gifts we received from God, His righteousness. Throughout this week, you can just mutter to yourself, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Let us now take this confession together as you repeat after me. I've received abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness to reign in life by one. Jesus Christ. The ability to be right, to do right, and to produce fruits and works of righteousness is inherent in my spirit. I'm living by the righteousness of Jesus Christ. I can stand before God now and always confidently serving Him in righteousness and true holiness. Hallelujah! For more insight on today's teaching, kindly refer to these scriptures given by our man of God to study further in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21 and Romans chapter 5, verses 17 to 19. Hallelujah! Now you can understand why we get so excited about the gospel. If you would like to learn more about how you can live out an effective Christian life, then you have to subscribe to this channel for more teachings like this by Pastor Chris Oyakilome. You can also give someone's life a meaning by sharing these messages of the gospel through the digital copy 
of this daily devotional when you click on the link in our description and invite them to tune in to our channel when you click on the share button. Visit www.tniglobal.org and find out how you can be a vital partner and sponsor of the Rhapsody of Realities around the world. Let us know how you've been blessed by these teachings and we'll see you again tomorrow. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart into my spirit thank you lord for saving my soul i have eternal life now i'm a child of god now i am born again thank you lord if you just said that prayer along with pastor chris congratulations welcome to the family of god Rhapsody of Realities Giving your life a meaning every day My life made perfect with Rhapsody